Hey guys, welcome to Destruction X and in today's video we are going to learn how to make a simple yet extremely powerful airsoft gun. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So the things that we need for this project are a plastic bottle, a pen, a lighter and some strong glue. At first we will take the pen and remove all its parts. We only need the body of the pen. This will be the barrel of our gun. Next, we'll open the lighter and take out the igniter from it. This we'll use as a trigger for our gun. Then we'll take the plastic bottle and make a hole on its cap. The hole should be big enough so that the pen body can fit tightly into it. We'll make two more holes on the top part of the plastic bottle where we'll fit the igniter. We'll put the bottom part of the igniter into the big hole and the wire into the small hole. Now if I press the switch, there will be a small spark inside the bottle. This will ignite the fuel. We will then put some strong glue on the bottom of the barrel and also at the bottom of the igniter to seal any openings. So our airsoft gun is finally ready. Now let's learn how to use it. But before we use this gun, we have to take care of a couple of things. The first is, we have to make sure that the distance between the two wires of the igniter is not too much or not too little. If it will be too much, then there will be no spark and if it will be too little, then the spark will not be able to ignite the fuel. And the second is, if the fuel and air mixture inside the gun is not proper, then the gun will not work. Now keeping these two points in mind, let's test this gun. For firing this gun, we'll take some alcohol and pour it into the gun. Then we'll close the cap and shake the gun properly so that the alcohol is spread inside the gun nicely. This will help the alcohol to evaporate fast which is extremely important for the working of this gun. Now as soon as I press the switch the alcohol inside the gun gets ignited and the hot gases that are released pushes anything that is inside the barrel out of it. As you can see after using it for about 10 times, the barrel has started to crack because this gun is very powerful. Now I am going to use this gun to shoot Eggman. So this is the condition of Eggman after he has been shot by our gun. That's all for today's video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.